besties. So what I'm going to be doing today is favors for uh, a party that I'm working on. And I'm going to do the box in the form of a fry box. I decided to do a fry box because for this particular theme, they have so many different little characters that it was easy to just incorporate something that was it normal basically so because the Shopkins have you know food items they have like nail polish lotions so on and so forth I figured this would be a cute little idea for their favors so I included the fry the cheeseburger and the ketchup on the box now I want to show you just really quickly this file because it is so cute and you get so much for the amount of money Okay, so here is the file that I purchased. From this seller, I've purchased so many. Blaze, Paw Patrol, Bubble Guppies, um, this one, so many. And so this is what you get. You get 203 files. I mean, that's insane. And they're very good quality. So uh, for $1.87, you can't really beat that. So going back to my uh, design... I will show you guys how to use the template in Design Space and then we'll go from there. I'm going to choose Complex and go to Continue. Of course, just like I did um, previously on my other template videos, I want to remove these white lines. So I'm going to zoom out and then I will get my eraser. And then I'm just going to remove all the white lines because Cricut will assume that that is a cut line and you'll end up with several pieces of cardstock. So another thing to note is you don't have to, it doesn't matter whether or not you save it as a printing cut or a cut image because it's going to get sliced anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and save and then we will go ahead and insert it into the project. So, okay, so I have uh, inserted my template and I'm going to just resize it. I'll make my width 8.5. And then it will automatically populate to 11. I will then take a square. I'm going to make it 8.5 by 11 as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and select them two together. And then I will slice it. Basically, I just want to be left with this piece right here. So I'm going to remove everything else. And then I will resize this to 9.25. If you cut this in like Publisher or something like that, you can make it bigger. But because I'm really, I want it, I want to cut it in Cricut. I am just going to make it within the printing cut measurements. The box is actually big enough at these dimensions that it didn't make any sense to cut it for. Um, for it to be a little bigger so the the measurements that it will end up being is uh, 9.25 by 5.5 okay and then I will show you basically what I did from here I just chose a print and a pattern show you the rest of the stuff because I'm just going to detach this and show you what the rest looks like okay so when you add your score lines this is how they're going to look here is the example from the seller how it's supposed to look but I was unable to do these circle score lines so it worked fine without it truthfully so not really a huge deal, but this is basically what your score lines are going to look like. Okay. 
So another thing that I like to do, once I have my score lines in place, I just select them together and attach them by themselves. So that way if I make several boxes, all I have to do is duplicate. And I have, I don't have to remake them every single time. So that will be for this box. I'm going to flatten and then I will reattach it to my box. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and print this one and then I will go to make it. I'm basically going to glue here on both sides the smaller sides and then this one larger side right here okay and now what I'll do is I'm going to fold this in and as you can see I'm just gonna connect it right here at the edge I'm gonna take one of my clips and I'll snap it together to keep it stable. Okay. So basically like that. And then I'll do my other side. Okay, so now I will adhere it to the other side. So I have it connected like this. And then I'll reach inside and I'll flatten those smaller flaps to make sure they get glued down. Okay. It's so basically you can see the inside the flaps are adhered to the side of the box and I'm just going to let that dry. So you may have to press down on them a little bit once um, they're dried so that you know they're stable and they'll stand they'll you know stand on their own so my box is now dry and I am going to just show you the things that I'm gonna add to it I am doing a template for the lotion bottle that I'm still working on designing so you'll see that in a separate video most likely this week though um, I'm also gonna do a template or something here on the lip gloss and also a little nail polish it'll all be Shopkins theme so you'll see that later on uh, this week most likely in another video I think I'm gonna use the same template for this as I do for this I'll see how it works out um, so yeah you'll see those um, pretty soon but I hope you enjoyed this video thank you as always for watching and I'll see you on the next video